This law gives my administration powerful new tools to hold responsible the individuals and the entities involved in extinguishing Hong Kong's freedom. All right, President Trump, the breaking news right before the show, he signed an executive order that would slap sanctions on Chinese officials who undermine the autonomy of Hong Kong. Joining me live right now is Republican Congressman Mike Waltz, who represents parts of Volusia County. Uh, Congressman, let's start with the breaking news. First off, thanks for joining me. Uh, what's what's this executive order going to do specifically and, and uh, your reaction to it in general? Well, I certainly praise the uh, administration, Gene, for, for taking this action. This is about freedom. This is about liberty. And I can't state it strongly enough to to everyone in America and around the world, that Hong Kong's today, what the Chinese Communist Party is doing to the free people of Hong Kong today, will be what they will do around the world tomorrow if they achieve their goal, President Xi of China's stated goal of being the sole global superpower uh, in the next in the next two decades. You've told me in the past that the Chinese Communist Party is not our friend. In fact, that's a quote from one of our earlier interviews. Uh, And in fact, before the president even signed this executive order, I asked you to come on the show to talk about the Thousand Talents program. We talked about that in the past. Uh, And and you're trying to get rid of that. Well, that's right. And so what the the Thousand Talents program is, is is a Chinese recruitment effort to recruit research, uh, research professionals, uh, professors, uh, students, and others around the world uh, focused on the United States in key technology and robotics and artificial intelligence, advanced materials, even things that sound innocuous like rheumatology uh, or cancer research, like what they did at the Moffitt Camp Cancer Research in Tampa, so that uh, this all fits into what they call the China Dream. Mm -hmm. which is that China becomes the center of the global trade and technology so to create dependencies on China so that it can it can achieve its geopolitical aim. Uh, And so we see now in the wake of covid, if we are dependent on China for our pharmaceuticals, if we're dependent on our personal protective equipment, if we're dependent on them, imagine if we were dependent on ventilators and other technologies, uh, then they really call the shot. And the free world uh, does not. So what the, what we've seen, even in Florida, uh, we've seen a research professor sending submarine technology. We've seen actual professors sending nanotechnology and others. Uh, while they're accepting Defense Department dollars, they are also accepting up to fifty to a hundred thousand dollars a month from the Chinese uh, to bring those technologies over. It's basically. They found a workaround to do espionage. Right. So they're, they're basically getting paid to steal our uh, intellectual property and send it on back. Yeah, that's the bottom line. That's that's a quicker way to say it. But the Chinese are basically stealing the way to the top. They're either stealing it through cyber. Uh, they're recruiting it through professors and through students. Or uh, if, they, if those two things don't work, they just buy up the companies uh, through mergers and acquisitions, through private equity firms. But bottom line is, I mean, for example, they just rolled out uh, a new stealth fighter that they're putting into into mass production that looks exactly like ours uh, Mm. that they have either stolen through one of those three means. And if you're listening out there and you're thinking, well, it's not happening here, um, one of those professors that the congressman just mentioned sending submarine parts, that was a UCF professor's assistant. And actually, earlier this year, we found out that four professors with ties to the Chinese institutions uh, either resigned or were fired from UCF over the last few years uh, for for sending stuff back to China. So it's happening right here in your neighborhood. Gene, I just, Gene, I just had lunch with a senior Chinese, with a senior uh, official from UCF who is livid at the fact that upwards, by, by his estimate, a third of the new professors coming in uh, to UCF are not dual citizens, are Chinese nationals. And what the Trump administration and legislation that I've introduced are trying to do is to cut that off. Uh, enough is enough. But the problem is our university system across the board is really, frankly, addicted to the revenue that's coming because these professors, these research professionals, even the students, we have upwards of 400,000 Chinese students coming in, are paying full freight. Uh, and and uh, they've really become addicted to that revenue when we know 
uh, that they are vacuuming up sensitive technology across the board and sending it back to Beijing. All about the money, Congressman. Uh, last question for you. About how many years do we have before this becomes a dire situation with, with China and uh, the it's U.S.? It's dire right now. It, it, it's dire right now. They have surpassed us in key technologies in space. A new type of missile, which is basically a maneuverable ICBM and hypersonic battery technology. Right now, 90% of the world's lithium is being refined uh, in China or mines around the world that the Chinese own. It, this is a now problem. Uh, and the first thing we need to do is to cut off Defense Department and other research dollars uh, that are going directly into institutions and the professors that are then taking that technology right over to Beijing and on uh, their payroll. So the administration is trying to stop it with what it can do. Uh, myself and others on a China task force are trying to cut it off uh, legislatively. But, but this is a, this is an immediate problem right now. He is Congressman Michael Waltz, a Republican at Rep. Michael Waltz on Twitter. He represents parts of Volusia County and a former Green Beret. I should have mentioned that earlier. Congressman, always great to have you on the show. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah, thank, thanks, Gene. Thanks for covering this, and, and, and we'll keep up the fight. This is a true threat to, uh, to the free world and to our future. Looking forward to having you on again soon. Congressman Mike Waltz, 6.30.